In this video, I am going to show you how to create combined axis charts. Okay, so let's go ahead and bring in, we are going to be looking at sales. We are going to be comparing sales, profit, and sales forecast for each market segment or we could do each region let's just do each region so we'll go ahead and bring region into our columns or we can just start with cells and let's go ahead and bring region here so right now we are looking at cells for each region right if we bring profit next to rows is going to create different graphs but that's not we, what we want we want to create them side by side we want profit and sales to be side by side and to do that instead of putting it on the rows you drag your profit and you take it to the axis once you take it to the axis you see this double green ruler and you just drop it and what it does is it puts profit and sales next to it side by side. Now it's displaying profit and sales for each region. And as you can see, as I did that, it added, it changed from sales in the rows to measure values. And you can see measure values right here. So it created a measure values card. And it also added measure names to the columns and added measure names to the filter. Now we could add one more. Let's go ahead and add sales forecast. So you could drag sales forecast and add it right here, or you could take it and add it to the measure values list. Now we have sales forecast for each region. We have sales forecast, sales and profit for each region. Measure names and measure values are fields that Tableau creates when you import your data. So when you connect to a data source, Tableau creates measure names and measure values. And you can use measure names and measure values just like any other field in Tableau. So for example, I could drag measure names and add it to color so that each measure name it presents a new color and of course i could drag this down here and also as you might have noticed the this axis went from value to it went from cells to value that's because this axis represents multiple fields multiple values we could right click on it and do edit axis and let's change it to sales, profit, and for sales forecast. And let's go ahead and close up this. Now, our assets represent the three fields that we are comparing side by side. And of course, measure names is automatically added to filters. And you can edit this filter so you can click on edit filter and let's say we want to add other items to this so we may want to add let's say sales per customer and then we can click ok and now we have sales per customer added to our view now this type of comparison is good if your fields that's if your columns all have the same measurement value so if you bring in quantity into this then it's not really going to be accurate quantity is not really going to be accurate because quantity is doesn't have the same measurement unit as profit or sales or sales forecast to remove a column from your view you can just um, drag it out. So we want to take quantity out. Let's go ahead and take out quantity. 
and that's just how you remove stuff. Sales and sales per customer looks right about the same. So we just take sales per customer out of our view. And that's how you remove columns from your view. And of course you could rearrange this and let's, let's say drag central to this place west and drag it here. You could rearrange the order of stuff. So here we have profit, sales and sales forecast. If you want sales to come first, we just drag sales up here and to rearrange it. And we could also rearrange um, the colors. You could double click on profit and choose a different color for profit. You could drag sales forecast to the top like this. So you could also use measure names to rearrange your colors. You could also use measure values as your color. Now we are using measure names, right? Which is a discrete value, which is a discrete measurement and is blue. If we drag measure values to the color panels, now it's going to be a, instead of having discrete colors, it's going to be a color gradient. So we now have a color gradient if we use measure values as our color. That's because measure values is a continuous field while measure names is a discrete field. When we created this, measure names was added to the columns automatically. And this is one way to do the comparison. But if we wanted um, this to be a stacked graph, we just take measure names out of the columns and now we have a stacked graph and let's ch change this to orange we now have a stacked graph just by taking measure names out of columns we could take measure names and put it back in columns and now it's broken down again and from here you could of course rearrange this so that you have different colors and different things. Now, when you hover over things, it gives you the individual numbers, right? Sales forecast, sales profit. But what if I want to see profit, sales, and sales forecast whenever I hover over things? The way you do this, you can drag sales to tooltip and now whenever I hover over any of this it will not only give me the information for that particular column it will also give me the information for sales now I want to take um, profit and also add it to the tooltip and I want to take sales forecast and add it to the tooltip now it doesn't matter which one I hover over I'll get the information for it now you can also take something like region and add it to your tooltip. So whenever you hover over something, it will tell you the region. Now we could take something like measure names and put it back into the columns and to have it back the way we had it before. So that's um, basically it on how to create a combined axis chart where you can compare different columns side by side or as a stacked graph and of course you can choose which measure values to add you could change um, the order of things you could also change the order using this and of course you can change the color as you want that's it for this video and I will see you on the next one.